Have you ever wondered what Pikachu is? Oh, I've got it. It's a Pokemon. Yeah, well, I know he's a Pokemon, Pete, but I mean, what animal is he? Hi everybody, I'm Animal Boy, and today we're going to be scientifically analyzing Pikachu to see what animal they are. To do this, we're going to be using all reliable, the Linnaeus method, right in this book. This basically is a method that helps scientists organize organisms, because we all know scientists like to organize things. To remember this, we use the phrase, Dear King Philip came over for a good spaghetti. It may sound really weird, but it actually helps us remember this quite well. D is for domain, K is for kingdom, P for phylum, C for class, O for order, F for family, G for genus, and S is for species. If you wanted to go even further, you could say, Dear King Philip came over for some good spaghetti sauce having the two S's be suborder and subspecies, but we'll stick with the first one for now. Let's use the African lion as an example. The domain is eukarya, since lions have cells that contain a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. They basically have fancy cells. The kingdom is animalia, because lions are animals, and the science backs that up. Take that, plant believers. Phylum in animals is basically does this animal have a backbone? The answer, yes, lion has backbone. Therefore, lion's phylum is cord data. Next is class. Are you a mammal? Are you a bird? Are you a reptile? Are you an amphibian? Or are you a fish? Lions are mammals because they have large external ears, fur, and give birth to a lot of young, which are very characteristic of most mammals. Except for you outliers, you whales, dolphins, and platypuses. Now, the order of the lion is carnivora, because it eats meat and it has these four really sharp teeth in the back of its mouth that helps it chew meat. The family is Philidae, which is the cat family. All kitty cats are in that family, including your own. The genus is Panthera, which includes all the big cats minus the cougar, which is ironic because, well, some cougars are called Florida panthers, it's a subspecies, but they ain't in panthera. But the black panther is, but those are actually leopards. And lastly, the species, Panthera leo, the African lion. Now I know that may sound a little bit complicated, but to prove to you that it's not, I'm going to explain it to Mr. Monster over here, and if he can understand it, I bet you can as well. Well, where to begin? You see a lion is a... Many unbearable hours later. Now do you understand? Yes, I understand completely. King Philip came into my house and ate my spaghetti. Somebody touched my spaghetti. Now with all that explanation stuff out of the way, let's go on to Gandorf's worst nightmare, our little electric pal, Pikachu. Pikachu is in the domain Eukarya, which includes all animals, but not all animals are Eukarya. See, Eukarya has fungi, it has trees, it has a really small organism, I forget the name of right now, and animals. But Pikachu is an animal, so its domain is Eukarya, and kingdom is Animalia. In Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64, when a character gets hit by an electrical attack, you are able to see the skeleton of that character. And on my screen, there's the picture of when Pikachu gets hit by one, and we can see that Pikachu indeed has a backbone. So it's in the phylum core data. Thanks, Wikipedia. Pikachu has external ears and fur, which is very characteristic of order mammalia, otherwise known as mammals. Those were the easy stuff. Things get a little more complicated here. You see, there's really four different orders in mammalia where Pikachu could go under that he displays characteristics of. Those orders are marsupial, carnivore, lagomorph, or rodents. Pikachu does not have a pouch, nor does he have any pockets, I think. So, he ain't a marsupial. Pikachu also doesn't eat meat, as the Pokédex states. Pikachu eats berries, or something like that. So, he's not a carnivore. This leaves us with two orders left. 
you got rodents and lycomorphs. Lycomorphs is the order that consists of rabbits, hares, and pikas. Pikachu ain't a pika. I'm, I'm just saying it right now. They both look rodent-like. They're both small and furry, but nothing else matches up besides that. No member of the lycomorph order contains a long tail like Pikachu, and that's one of his defining characteristics. Or her, depending on what Pikachu you're talking to. So yeah, they are not a lagomorph, which means Pikachu is a rodent. But I can already hear you typing. No, wait, I can't. I can, wait, why can I literally... Mr. Monster, what are you writing? I'm writing a letter to Miss Scarlett Johansson. And as I was saying, Dear Miss Johansson, we're here to contact you about your extended car warranty. Uh, Mr. Monster? Yeah? Can you type in the bathroom? What a great idea! I love me my soap. Great snack. What I was going to say is, I know some of you are thinking, but Animal Boy, rodents have those long, pointy, sharp front teeth. And Pikachu doesn't have those. First off, good on you for knowing that and questioning me. Very smart. Second off, in 2015, Professor Takashi Oda of CN University in Japan posted this picture on his Twitter. As requested by his students, he drew what a Pikachu skeleton would look like. As you can see, you can see some little incisors there, which are basically fancy word for rodent teeth. So yeah, Pikachu's a rodent. Also, Pikachu are known to store electricity in their cheek pouches, much like how rodents store food in their cheek pouches. Wait, wait, Pikachu's the mouse Pokemon, right? That's his Pokedex thing? Guess that would have been easier to go off of, but hey, we overanalyze things here. There are 28 families within the order Rodentia. It's one of the largest orders in mammals. One in particular stands out to me. This is the Pedetidae family, which are characterized by having long kangaroo-like legs, bipedal, long ears, a yellowish color, and a long tail. That sounds a lot like Pikachu to me. Of course, Pikachu doesn't have that little kangaroo-like feet, but that's it's close enough, okay? The family is comprised of a single genus, being Pedetidus. I probably butchered that name. There are two surviving members of this genus. The East African Spring Hare and the South African Spring Hare. Fun fact, by the way, the East African Spring Hare was recently declared a separate species, so... Good on them. Larry the Panther's next, I'm telling ya. And with all that being said, I can conclude that Pikachu is, drumroll please, Pikachu is a South African spring hare. Yay! Some pretty interesting things about this animal is that its main predator is called a carousel. It's a type of wildcat that lives on the savanna. In Pokemon, one of Pikachu's main rivals is Team Rocket's Meowth. I know they were going for the cat mouse thing, but they ended up going for the carousel spring hare thing. So yeah, exotic African animals. But a few things don't match up. For instance, South African spring hares burrow are solitary. They got those kangaroo-like legs I mentioned earlier, and they live on the savanna. While Pikachu are very communal creatures, live in forests, and have godlike electric powers. Wait, was the spring hare revoked of their godly ship? We need a fine spring hare mule mare, everybody! I had a lot of fun researching and making this video. Tell us if you want to see more stuff like this down in the comments below. Tell us if you disagree with my answer. Tell us if you had a waffle today. Tell us if you're wearing shoes. Tell us your puppy's name. And yeah, remember, if Nurse Joy can cure Pikachu, the doctor can cure you. See ya!